A search and rescue teams are racing against time to get to hundreds still missing after deadly landslides in India's southern state of Kerala. Authorities say the death toll is nearing 300. The state's chief minister says rescuers are giving priority to those who were isolated in the collapse after midnight on Tuesday. The army and other personnel are building a temporary bridge to allow access to some of the worst hit areas and the deployment of heavy machinery. Early today saw the arrival of opposition leader and former MP for Vyanad, Rahul Gandhi. His visit coming as politicians at federal and regional levels trade blame over who could have done more to both prevent and respond to this tragedy. Meanwhile, more than 10 people have died after torrential rain hit India's northern regions. Schools in New Delhi have been shut and many airlines have issued advisories about diverting flights. Moderate thunder showers and rain are forecast over the next few days in the capital, with India as a whole likely to get more rain in September compared to August. And here, Pony joins us with the very latest from New Delhi. Nihar, India, as we just said, likely to get more rainfall in the days and weeks ahead. How is the country preparing for all these, for these difficulties ahead, given that it's already dealing with disasters, certainly down south? Well, that's at the heart of this political slugfest, isn't it, that we're seeing between the central government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the opposition parties of the country and the government of Kerala. As things stand, you know, India doesn't have a national plan to deal with uh, natural calamities. Uh, according to experts, what we do have are guidelines and SOPs that states must follow, but the onus of preparing for and averting, uh, you know, widespread damage because of natural calamities or tragedies lies with the states, whether it's uh, rainfall or cyclones that we see very commonly uh, along India's eastern coast. But um Rahul Gandhi, who is in Vyanad, meeting with flood victims and their families, has urged the government to come up with a national plan that takes into account uh, how frequent these natural calamities have begun. Uh, it is going to be a wetter than normal August and September. Usually that's good news because much of India's farming population, which makes up nearly half of the country's uh, uh, residents, uh, rely on the rains for their agricultural needs. But, you know, what we're seeing is uh, because of global warming, the rain patterns have become more erratic and uh, far more deadlier. For example, we've seen in Delhi in the last 24 hours there's been widespread flooding. Uh, several people have died. Schools are shut down as a red alert is in place. Uh, similarly, in the northern regions, in the Himalayan states of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, we witnessed cloud bursts on Thursday. Um, Roads have been washed away in many areas. Communication services have been hit. So what's happening is that, you know, this rain is not uh, reaching the areas that need it the most and the regions where it is, uh, you know, raining quite heavily. It's leading to significant uh, loss of life and damage to property. And as you mentioned, a political uh, blame game going on as far as what happens in the district of Vyanad in the southern state of Kerala. Meanwhile, uh, authorities constructing a temporary bridge to try to give access, to get access to those who have been isolated. What progress has been made with the death toll nearing around 300? That's right. Uh, officials say it's a race against time. They want to get to the areas that have been cut off by the landslides that hit the Vyanad region on Tuesday as quickly as possible. Remember, it's been three days um, and so far much of the rescue efforts have been located, uh, uh, you know, at the end of the region where the landslides ended. Um, and, you know, the governor of the state of Kerala also uh, reminded reporters on Thursday that they don't truly have a sense of how widespread the devastation might be because they've still not reached villages that were first hit when the landslides started happening on Tuesday morning. Um but army officials, rescue teams, both from the national and state disaster response teams and uh, local volunteers are working quickly to construct that bridge. That's important because it'll help them get heavy machinery across what is a wide gushing uh, flow of water. And that's going to be useful in digging up more debris. They've uh, faced several challenges, including, uh, you know, what is difficult terrain to navigate because it's slushy. It's been raining incessantly um, and, uh, you know, 
there's a lot of debris and mud that they need to wade through. And officials say once that bridge is constructed, uh, w you know, that will help speed up their rescue operations quite significantly. They're hoping that'll happen as early as uh, Friday. And their aim, they say, is to reach those people who've been cut off because 200 people, remember, are still unaccounted for, beg your pardon, or still missing. Oh, thanks for the update. Neha Ponya reporting live to us there from New Delhi.